Hi, my name is Matt Bautel. Welcome to this unit on creating an Android client for an Endpoints backend. The example that we're going to look at today here for our demo is actually the, a continuation of the same example that we worked in a previous unit, uh, and that's the, the one that creates movie quotes. Let's take a look at a demo. All right, so you'll recall here uh, that, that we can um, add and show quotes, all right? Uh, so what I'd like to do is to bring in uh, an emulator that I have running. Uh, so this app right here is going to allow us to do some similar things. So I'm going to go ahead and, and click plus here. And let's go ahead and, and enter in a quote. Uh, so the sort of, you know, uh, I'll be back, which came from the Terminator. And click OK. And we'll see that that is, um, that that is updating here in our client. Okay. But if we actually go back here to our, um, to our web client and I do a refresh, we'll see that that's the most recently added quote here as well. Right? So we can, we can also do things like delete them. Right? So if we wanted to delete this quote right here, all right, we hold on on it, we can actually select multiple ones right? um, and then click delete. And if we go back here and all right, we see that they delete. Uh, everything that we could do before, uh, so we can do an edit as well. So if I do a, a just a short click on this guy, um, so maybe everything isn't quite so awesome. So let's let's get rid of uh, a few of these exclamation points here. Just one. Uh, and click that there, and then let's go back here, and we see that it updates, right? Uh, so we can see all the things that we might want from our client, right? So we can add things, we can delete, we can edit, uh, we can, you know, certainly we're updating. Um, we can do a sync fresh from the from the client if we wanted. Uh, so for instance, let's go back over here and let's add in uh, Toto. Uh, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Uh, and that's from the wizard. Of Oz. Let's go ahead and submit this guy. And then that updates there immediately. But this guy, if we do a sync, uh, then that will, will come in here. Right? Uh, so it looks like a good app here. Um, going to learn some good skills uh, to make this thing work. Uh, so let's go back to, to here. And what things are we going to be studying in this unit? Right? So, so first of all, right, the, the main idea um, is that we should be able to, to generate client code and then use it, right? So a couple different parts. So one is we're going to learn how to generate client code from the back end. Uh, we'll learn how to create the client, right? We're actually going to give you the uh, most of the client for this one here. Uh, but we'll learn the things that are key to talking to the endpoints back end, right? So so creating a service object, um, using the methods that are in the generated uh, client code to to insert, delete, update, and so on. Uh, and we're also going to learn a bit about uh, keeping these uh, slow operations off of the UI thread by using things called async tasks. All right, so if you remember, this is our big picture. We have already worked on most of this in a previous, uh, previous unit. So now it is time indeed to focus on the client. And in this, um, in this one right here, as you know, we're going to be focusing on the Android client itself. All right, so we're going to make the same transition that we did before. Uh, most of our work is going to be um, going along in, a, in just a document. All right, so I'd invite you um, to go ahead and, and open up this document and follow along there. There's going to be a few things that will be nice to cut and paste uh, as, as we're working along. Uh, and we'll see you back for our next lesson on, um, on setting up our project.